What's up everybody, John Abraham, Captain Cool here with the one, the only, Sum and Doubt. Today we're going to be talking about our stereotypical assumption about people who drive certain cars. In addition to this video, I'm also going to see if she can guess what car I am showing her. That'll be one point to her. We're not doing points? Who cares? Let's get into this video. Yay! <laughs> Boom! All right, Summer, I'm gonna be showing you a few pictures. First off, okay. what do you think this car is? Okay, I have more pictures of it if you want me to show you. I actually don't know this one. Okay, can you at least tell me like the brand, the manufacturer of this car? I mean, I know that it's a Ford. Okay, it's a Ford, all right? It's actually the uh, Ford Fusion, yes. Oh, we used to actually okay. own one. Who do you I think? I should have known that. <laughs> I should have known that. Um, I definitely could see like a middle-aged mom, like very beautiful. A very beautiful middle-aged mom. A very beautiful middle-aged okay, okay. mom. Like very classy, but not like over the top. So my assumption of it, because I want to add on to it, you mm -hmm. know, is I think that a mom drove it back in like 2013. You know, she used to drive it for a few years and then she gives it to her son and then her son in high school drives it. Nobody really wants this car. I feel like it's just okay. the ease of access to getting it. That's just ha kind of how I it is. I actually like it. Move it on. Hold on. Water break. Water break. Water break. Do you know what this bad boy's called? I don't, but I actually, I, I, I personally know somebody who has this car. Really? Yeah. Okay. Obviously a Jeep. So I'm going to go first this time. First off, it's the Jeep Renegade. All right. Wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it's a decent name, but the car, it doesn't look like a renegade. Yeah. My assumption of this is it gets to a high school girl. They're the nature type of high school girl. And they come from a rich family, like a family that would give okay. them a lot of money. I can see that. The thing is, it's like supposed to be an Outer bank style thing. Like you go off road and stuff like that. These girls are never going off road. Okay. No. They're not even going on road trips. They go, the farthest they go is probably down the block. I guess that I can see the opposite of that being a mother who does travel a lot. Probably by herself yeah. and her kids. Yeah. No husband. Okay. No man. So that's the opposite of what no I was man. saying. All right, all right. All right. I actually have some good oh, assumptions no. about this one. This is an older vehicle. It doesn't matter what year it is because they're all classics, okay? I feel like I should know what car this is, but I don't. Yeah, I feel like, I don't. I feel like because of your dad, you should know what this car is. Mm. It's an SS of some sort. So there you go. You got that's the hint. What's the manufacturer? Chevy. Chevrolet. It is. Oh, Chevelle, yeah. Che yeah, Chevelle? Well, it's a Chevy. What? It's a Chevy. So yeah, this is the Chevy SS, okay? Or the oh. Chev is the Chevelle okay. SS. It's a pretty awesome muscle car. Who do you see driving this bad boy? Probably a really cool old man. Yeah, I, <laughs> I see a guy who also owns like four bikes and has a nice long oh, beard yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. also is probably bald. And also wears probably bandanas on his head. I see that guy driving this thing. Either way, it's a sick car. She got the point, so I will give it to you. Good job. Boom. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. You're going to like this one right here. <laughs> it's quite the ugly car. Yeah, that one's just a little <laughs> joke, all right? I threw that okay. one in there. What is this car? Once again, it's an ugly car. I, d I just, I don't like this car. So, it's... it is a Toyota. Continue. Oh, okay. Toyota. Yeah, the fall from grace. Toyota. A lot of people hate it. It's an electric car. And I wouldn't know it. It is a Prius. Oh, okay. yeah. There I've you heard go. I've that name before. <laughs> I think that I would have gotten it from this picture if it wasn't like. Flames? flames? Yeah, there are flames on that picture. Um, this is just a bad. I hate this picture. I, Who do you I think's think driving this car? <laughs> This car in particular, I just see as like an Uber. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Honestly, I just see middle aged white man. Middle-aged white man, okay. Probably bald. So you're saying a black man can't drive this? No! That's I'm just saying a black My view of this is you either own a Toyota Prius or you own a Volvo and you live on a mountain. Swanee Mountain in particular. There are so many of these things where we live. These cars go extremely slow and they also kill the environment. Moving on, we got another ugly car. That's right, we're talking about this car. You don't know the name of it. She only has one point, okay? She got the Chevelle SS. That's it. What is this car? At least what is the manufacturer? If you want me to pull up some more pictures, I can. Ram. What is another name for Ram cars? <laughs> Dodge, Dodge, I'll give you that. Okay, I didn't know. It looks like a bug. Yeah, it's the light style is a bug or a Porsche kind of. It's I definitely not a Porsche though. Know. Who do you think is gonna drive this car? Probably a very young man. I would who say that he thinks yes. that he's better than everybody else. 
That's actually a good assumption. <laughs> so, what you don't know, here's a little facts for both of you guys. The Dodge Neon, it was in a Need for Speed game, it was like the first car you get, and I feel like people thought since that this car was in that game, it had to be good. So a lot of car enthusiasts get into this car for whatever reason and trick the crap out of it. A lot of those people are probably in their teens. A lot of them probably their first car. They probably get $3,000 off of Craigslist. It has 200,000 miles on it and it's probably on the last leg. Probably. Moving on. Now we live here in uh, Winchester, Tennessee and uh, this is my favorite. Mm. This is my favorite. So, um, there's a lot of trucks in this area, especially just Tennessee in the south. So, uh, I don't know trucks. This is a straight I up this is a straight up Chevy Silverado. It doesn't really matter what the name of the truck is cuz it is just a truck. Um, and it is very much squatted. Um, squatted. It's yeah, it's disgusting. Who do you think's driving this car? A good old country boy. Country boy. How do you get this thing? From his dad. <laughs> That's probably from the From his Father. Yeah. All right, moving on. Let's see if you can get this one. Hint, it is a police car as well. It's a Charger. It is a Charger. All right. Which I, I figured that it was a Charger. Two points for Summer. Congratulations. Give me a high five. That doesn't do anything for you in the long run. No, it does absolutely Who not. the hell is driving? First off, this. Second off, who the hell is driving this? Iron Man. Iron. It does look like Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man is driving it. S oh. <laughs> as you may know, I don't know if you guys know this, but I absolutely hate Chargers now because of the culture behind them. People like to so, trick them out. Tell either. me what you think. So there are two types of people driving Chargers. Iron Man. Iron Man. Probably driving a Charger. Probably an Audi, actually. Continue. Two, a policeman. A police officer, yeah. Three, a drug dealer. Ooh, right on the mark. Don't. Just stop no, doing it. This is no, ruining the vehicle no. for me. I don't even care. It's not tasteful. It. It's not tasteful. It just ruins the car. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. All right. This is why this whole list was created. I know it. I know that I know it. A hint here is it's not a Ford, but the Ford counterpart of this one is also a police car. What are your assumptions of this car? I just get old man. Okay. Old man. Very old, like 70s, like 70s. Years I think, old. yeah. Or also, it's a hand-me-down to a kid who also drives like a 70 or 90 year old man. I absolutely hate when I see this car on the road because you know what? If I'm on a back road and it's in front of me, it's going 30 under the speed limit. It's definitely going slow. We got a beautiful oh. car here. What do you think this it is? is? This is my Mazda Miata. As much as I love this car, I've started to recently unlove it just because it's so popular. It is right everywhere. Now. It's it's like the popular song that's playing <sighs> on the radio all the time. It really hit an all-time high, and the price of this car skyrocketed during COVID, and it never really went down to what it used to be. You used to be able to find these things for like $1,000 still working. Nowadays, if you find a working one, it's probably going to be $4, 45 100 and it's ridiculous because these cars are not worth that much. I just want to drive it off a freaking cliff, honestly, but Summer, tell me who you think would drive this thing. Um, any young adult who thinks that they're different. Moving on. What do you think this car is? Do you think it's cool? Okay, it's a, it Porsche. a Porsche. I, I would drive this car. Yeah? I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. the stereotype. Um, I see a doctor driving this thing. Same with Ross. I see him driving. Ross from Friends, you know? Yeah. 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 I, Remember I when he actually does it? It's a cool car. I would drive it, a doctor would drive it, and also Summer would, would probably drive it. It's my future car. Alright, if you don't know what this one is, I'm going to punch you across the face. It's a Mustang. It's, um... What'd you just say? <laughs> No, no, wait, it's a Ford, a GTR, I didn't mean to say- A Ford GTR! Act like no, I punched you, ready? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Boom! This one should be really easy for you. What is this car? A Nissan Altima. Who do you think drives it? I think that's four points now, by the way. Good job. Uh, the stereotype is the, stereotype. the ages between 16 and probably like 24, I'd say of women who probably were gifted this car by their parents. It's an 18th birthday car. I, yeah, I don't mind them. She'd drive them just because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a, a car. car. Moving on to the next one. This summer, you got that one right. You got four points right now. Yay. That means you can slime me four times at the end of this episode. Yay. We see these around a lot because it's like the only sports car we see around. Let me show you another picture. Oh, 
What is the other one? Corvette. It's a Corvette. Corvette. Nice okay. job. Yeah, I couldn't think of Corvette yeah. for whatever reason. So they pretty much turned it into a Lamborghini. I will say yeah. that. So who do you think would drive one of these bad boys? Because I have a very good stereotype for this one. I honestly, I don't know any famous YouTuber probably. <laughs> My stereotype for a Corvette is you're probably 30 to 57, maybe older. If you're older, you're probably getting older muscle. But if you're getting a new Corvette, you're probably having a midlife crisis. I'm gonna be honest with you. Or you're my brother Tommy, because he really likes them, and that's totally fine. Because go off, you know? You're not having a, you might be having a midlife crisis. All right, two more cars. Ooh, what do we got here, okay? Okay, I... Um, you might know. Oh, There's more I pictures know. of it, too, yeah. It's, uh... Is this the car where the back of it is a tent? It is! They are out of business now, sadly. They still sometimes- Aztec! It's I the was Aztec. thinking Aztec, that's so weird! Honestly, I love them. I, I do too, I will say. They have the look of a CRX, but like taller. The, the front of it isn't bad. It's a little weird. I mean, at least it's like original. If we're being completely honest. Good take. Um, the back of it's a little wonky, but again... I told you the weather was gonna get crazy. <laughs> Moving on to the final car, probably one of my favorite cars on this list, and I made sure they're all the same manufacturer. There are actually three people who create this car, two now, but uh, go off, queen. Toyota. It's the car that I very much want. I have about seven of them up there and three of them back there. That is the Toyota 86. GR86, GT86, A86, they're all pretty much the It's a same. cool car. It's not a bad <clears throat> car. I, I mean... freaking love it. <laughs> Who do you see driving the Toyota 86? Honestly, somebody cool. Somebody, somebody, cool. somebody that I would probably get along with. My assumption, even though this is the dream car for me, at least for my short-term dreams, this is the car that I very much want. But I see a lot of kind of the same as like a Nissan 350Z. They're not fast at all. They're just really good and really fun to go around corners and Aww. stuff. So they're, they're a nice track car. I don't want to go fast though. It's got about the same horsepower as the Mustang, like 205 to 210 horsepower. Okay. That's six points right there. Good Yay. job. You did a wonderful job. We would look at more cars, Yay. but that's up to you guys watching. Let us know down below what you guys want to see on the channel. Maybe another one of these videos. Let's see it. I would love to. I had a lot of fun. Summer, thank you very much for joining me tonight, as well as you guys. I hope you can join me again. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Go down below, subscribe if you like the video, and we'll see you next time. Stay pinky. Yeah! <laughs>